I'm a bit dishevelled, um, but I thought I would do a video about some outfits that I'm wearing this week or over the next few days um, that are practical in this shitty weather. It's actually not too bad today, but generally it has been grey, rainy, shit, shit, and then shit every day. So I have been not able to get dressed. I just find when the weather's like this, my outfit becomes nothing more than a coat and I get really bored really quickly. And even though I have coats that I love, you just have to wear something big and practical and I feel like everything gets lost to that. So it just gets even more repetitive than my normal outfits um, quicker. So with that in mind, I thought I would share some outfits and some of the things I'm trying to do to not feel like I'm in outfit groundhog day. Let us begin. So speaking of coats, this is a new one. I'm gonna talk first, I've got my Sophie Hume Bolt bag. They've stopped making this bag, which I can't believe because it's one of the best bags I've ever had. It's so good. It's probably my most used handbag actually, if I'm honest. Um, but yes, this coat is new. I bought it online from a brand called AF Agger um, and I've wanted it for so long. It's like one of those coats I see on Instagram all the time um, on lots of the Danish girls and I've just lusted after it, after it for ages. It's been sold out and I managed to get it on a pre-sale. Um, so yeah, it's just a beige trench but as you can see it's got this big crossover um, bit. Um, a big square pocket here with big flap, high pockets here, quite short boxy sleeves um, and the reason I've loved it so much and after having seen it online on so many girls for so long is that it's just like a classic trench obviously but sort of reimagined um, in a way that I find very aesthetically pleasing. It's got really good detailing like this um, cord inner on the neck and this the only thing is the buttons are really fiddly, as you can see, I'm struggling to get this, but I like how you can do it up like that. It has a zip and then also the buttons, so it looks really good opened as well. So this was a big splurge, it was expensive, um, but yeah, I'm really chuffed with it. And exactly what I was saying there, when you feel like your outfit becomes a coat, this is a coat I'm happy for my outfit to become. Underneath it, I have on my cashmere roll neck from um, Lily Silk, who I did some work with. A couple of months ago, um, it's a really, really, really good cashmere roll neck. It's got, it's just a really nice fit where it's not too, um, one second, let's just pop this here. But it's not too tight, but it's also not too baggy either. Um, it's just a really, really, really nice fit to it. So I've been wearing it quite a lot. And then vintage Levi's jeans and my red Converse, which I'd sometimes wear on lazy days where I want a bit of color. It's not chucking it down today, and if it was, I um, wouldn't be wearing Converse because they are not good on cold, wet days. Um, so yes, this is outfit number one. Hey guys, I've just got back in from a walk. Um, it's already going dark, which is why the light's on. It's only like four o'clock and I can't believe how early it's going dark, I hate it. I'm just running a bath, I literally walked in, turned the bath on and then um, thought I would show you the outfit that I've been walking in. So this video contains a sponsorship with Levi's who I'm obviously very pleased to work with. I'm a big, big, big fan of their jeans, which I'm wearing here. These are the rib cage in a longer leg length. Those of you who might remember when I did testing basics for jeans, for straight leg jeans, I had the Levi's ribcage in them and the issue was at the time it was really hard to get any different leg lengths and they came up super, super, super short. They now do them in lots of different ones. Um, I need to check what, I think these are like 30. I'm gonna write it on the screen for sure what size these are so you have it for reference. Um, but as you can see, they kind of skim the top of my boots really nicely whereas the other pair I have, there would be like an inch gap between. Um, and these are, such good fitting jeans. I think when I did that testing basics video, I said that they would have been number one 
was it not for the leg length issue um so i'm super super pleased with these i love how they look with chunky boots the boots are just my old ones from todd's um that i've had for a couple of years have on a uniqlo cashmere jumper the men's navy blue one that i always wear under here and then this puffer jacket and while i'm thrilled to focus on the jeans the puffer jacket is actually the focus of this outfit because um it's part of their new collection which is the most sustainable one they've done so far and this is made 100 percent from recycled plastic predominantly from plastic bottles um which is such a nice touch to kind of what is a winter essential for us all you guys know i did a recent video of a haul where i have a longer arquette puffer jacket i've been wearing it quite a bit um in fact i'm sure that will end up featuring again in this video but a shorter one i think is slightly easier to wear um i really like how it looks from the side where you get the really big puffy back this is actually reversible so it's sort of um like a uh, I don't know how to describe that. It's not lime green. It's like, it's a yellowy green, but not lime. Um, I wouldn't wear it the other way around. I definitely just prefer having the, um, oh God, is this black or navy blue? I can never tell the color between black and navy blue. This is, I know the jumper's navy blue. I think this is black then, but I think it might be navy blue. Honestly, when it comes to black and navy blue, I genuinely think I'm a touch color blind at times. Um, <laughs> So yeah, this, I love the fit of it and everything. And it was really nice and warm to go out on a walk in. I did have it zipped all the way up to the top when I was out walking. Um, and just a really, really good practical winter piece. And I just love the fact that it has that sustainable story behind it. So this gets a big thumbs up with me, along with the fact that the rib cage jeans are available in longer leg lengths. I think they look so good. And the, actually the fit of this jean with this kind of a cropped puffer jacket, is a really really good mix i really liked this outfit felt practical and stylish <laughs> morning good morning guys <laughs> excuse the mess behind me it's a bed changing day um but i'm just about to go out the sun is shining and i've said this once before but i have extreme confidence in myself that i alone control the british weather uh, the global weather if i'm traveling and when i make a statement like the weather has been shit and raining so i'm going to make a video based on how to dress for that the sun then of course comes out so i will just continue trying to do this and working in opposites so that you guys get the benefit of the sunshine and i continue to make content that makes no sense um it is still quite cold though even though it's sunny and wonderful and i do believe it's meant to rain this afternoon if i go out with an umbrella though now it won't rain so i'll make sure to take a brolly and ward off the rain for the uk today um but yes an outfit today um i have got back on the ribcage jeans i thought that i would show you them styled with not a boot because i think you can tell how good the length is even better um without the boot so the problem that i had with the other ones i've got is that if i wore a sock or anything i'd still have a gap between the top of the sock and the jean whereas as you can see these are just the perfect length um i'm so chuffed with them i also have a little jumper on here which is from levi's too it's got this really nice very kind of 90s um embroidered logo here ls and co so levi strauss and co uh just with a zip neck and a drawstring not drawstring a elasticated waist um which makes it quite flattering for jeans if you are someone who struggles with tucking jumpers in it can be a nightmare doing that without looking like you've got like a a big lump under your under your waistband here something like this is great because it kind of looks tucked in without actually having to deal with all that extra material um and then this jacket is my end of the stories leather one i've been wearing this a lot recently it's a good one in the rain obviously because leather's waterproof and it's padded so it's really 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 warm i'm still kind of off blazers but this is a good alternative where it's the same length to a blazer um but way more practical and for the point that i was making at the very beginning of the video when you feel like you just become your coat during the winter this is a really good way to not become your coat so um yeah i've been wearing this quite a bit and like i said it's super warm i do like this combination of the two collars as well um sometimes something that zips open i find a bit more comfortable than just uh, i said this in a video not so long ago like a big high neck turtleneck i find I struggle to get right I find that I struggle to get right um, 
because they irritate me sometimes. So something that splits open like this is quite a nice alternative. And yes, that's me today. Um, I'm just nipping out to go to the shops initially and just run some errands and things like that. And um, I think it's going to rain later. <laughs> I kind of hope it's going to rain later, which I never would normally say. Hello guys, it is the same day as, oh, don't zoom in Elizabeth. It is the same day as when I was speaking to you earlier, hence the messy bedroom behind. Um, I actually have got another outfit on today because I ended up um, seeing my photographer. We've just announced in the UK that we're going back in lockdown on Thursday. So I wanted to shoot some content while I still could um, out and about with a photographer. So I made that last minute plan and put this outfit together for it, which I really liked. It's the same. Um, coat the trench coat you guys already saw but with a lighter outfit which I just love this knits from Riley Studios it was sent to me and it's made from recycled cashmere it's so warm so so warm I also have it in a dark grey and honestly it's like the coziest jumper my cos jeans um, I really love how they look with a big jumper like they're kind of so straight excuse me straight and slouchy um, I think they look great the Manolo Blahnik shoes, again, I'm really, really enjoying wearing these a lot. I'm getting a lot of wear out of them because they're brown. Can you see they're brown? Yes, you can there. Um, so it sort of feels a bit lighter and less blocky than having black shoes and black socks. And then my St. Agni um, tote bag, which I absolutely love. So this was this outfit and was a success if I do say so myself. So. Um, I'm probably not going to get changed for the third time today and we'll show you a third and final outfit um, also so we can get this video live in time um, but yes, I will speak to you all again soon Hello guys, finishing off this video with a smarter outfit this sort of combination has been my go-to when I want to feel like a chic lady doing chic things who has her life together which I don't feel like, um, but this is it. It involves dark colours and a very classic coat. So I have on my Arquette um, black cashmere jumper, washed this for the first time. Ah, oh, surely I've washed it more than once, judging by how much I've worn it, I hope I have. Um, but it washes really well, just on a wool wash and it's such a good piece, it's such a lovely length. I've been wearing it a lot. Um, weekday uh, row jeans. These I have been loving wearing specifically with my church's boots. Um, I have tried this look with a chunkier boot, which I do like as well, but there's something so masculine about the length of these jeans with these church's boots, the really classic brogued what? No, is it called broguing when they've got the, the holes and the puncher bits in them? Um, and I absolutely love it. I just think it's such a good combination and I've been reaching for it a hell of a lot. And then over the top, my Philippa K coat. Um, this is kind of like my long wool fancy coat for the season. So kind of a bit less practical actually if it's raining because obviously it's not waterproof like the trench coat would be or the puffer jacket, but it is such a good one for just when you want to feel a bit smart. Um, we're now in lockdown. Oh no, when this video is going out, we'll be about to go into lockdown. So I won't be going out for dinners or things like that anymore. But for the brief period I was, this was sort of my go-to. Um, and just something I've consistently felt really, really, really good wearing. So I wanted to include it in this video. And I also think it's the kind of thing lots of you be able to recreate at home. A long coat, preferably of a dark colour, but I think a camel one would look really good with this as well. And just some jeans that are slightly longer than maybe your normal cropped ones. So maybe go one leg length longer. So you get the way it just skims off the top of the boot, which is what I think really makes this look feel a bit different. Um, and like I said, I have been absolutely loving wearing it. So on that note, I'm going to conclude this video. The next video will be a vlog with some exciting news, hopefully. And I will see you in that one. Links to everything in the description box. Huge thank you once again to Levi's for working with me on this. Obviously such a great brand um, to be able to work with, you know, how much I love their jeans, how often I wear them. So I'm really, really pleased about it. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next one.